television and motion pictures are alike because in both a series of still pictures is flashed rapidly before your eyes. So rapidly that the memory of each picture lingers long enough so that it blends with the next picture and the object of the picture appears to move. And now let's see what makes a picture a picture. Look closely at this one. The closer still. Let's use a magnifying glass. Here we see that the picture is really made up of thousands of tiny dots arranged very close together. But normally our eyes don't notice the dots, especially when the picture is being moved. This fact helps to make television and motion pictures possible. Television is simply a way of sending these dots from a transmitting station and putting them together to make a picture on the screen of a receiving set. Here's the way it works. Inside the television camera is a magic electric eye called the iconoscope, one of the most important parts of which is this sensitive plate called a mosaic. It is a rectangular piece of mica covered with billions of tiny photoelectric cells arranged something like this. The scenes being televised go through the camera lens and fall on the photoelectric cells. Some of the cells receive lots of light, others very little. Each cell, according to how much light it gets, builds up a corresponding electrical charge. These charges collectively make up an electrical image on the mosaic. These cells with their electrical charges are scanned by a stream of electrons. The scanning beam skips every other line and returns to scan the remainder of the picture, completing 30 pictures a second. Each picture is composed of 525 individual scanning lines. An electrical impulse is released each time this stream covers a group of the photoelectric cells. Each separate impulse travels from the sensitive plate of the iconoscope in sequence over wires to the transmitting station, where it is then sent out into space to be picked up by aerials connected to television receivers. Here the electrical impulses are carried to another magic tube called the kinescope and are used to control another stream of electrons which bombard the face of the kinescope, which is really the viewing screen. When the beam strikes this fluorescent screen, each electrical impulse is changed back into a spot of light. In other words, each spot of light picked up by the mosaic of tiny photoelectric cells in the television camera creates a corresponding spot of light on the receiving screen. It moves back and forth so rapidly, actually more than two and one half miles per second, that a complete still picture is formed almost immediately. The quick succession of 30 pictures a second produces the apparent motion. That is why the pictures we see on the screen of our television receiver seem to move. Television has come of age. Here, for instance, is a reproduction of one of the first images received on a television screen. Compare that crude picture with these of today, and you can judge for yourself how far along the road to perfection television has traveled. Thank you.